go to YouTube, Vitor Carissa, Value Through Prophecy, and, um, you know, I was strolling down, you know, YouTube, uh, and I stumbled upon the video, um, and it was about CM Punk. Now, obviously, if anybody who don't know who CM Punk is, he's an American uh, UFC uh, TNA WWE superstar. Uh, he's had the uh, longest streak in WWE history. Uh, I think 374 days he held the WWE champion. Um, and he was on Starcade. Uh, to explain, uh, basically, you know, how did he feel about, you know, Kofi Kingston winning the championship? Um, in my opinion, I think Kofi Kingston should have never won WWE champion. I think it was just one of those pushes that the WWE owed him. Because if y'all don't remember, he was supposed to be in that elimination chamber match, which he never got to actually perform in because he was tapped. I think Edge took him out um, to be in it, you know, and obviously he foiled, he, uh, you know, he battled with uh, with Randy Orton and stuff. Um, you know, they were tag team champions at once, you know. Uh, you know, he has no, he holds no grudges, you know. I think, you know, he said that it was like a business decision for the WWE to put the title on him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been with the company since 08. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I did, and I think he debuted uh, in 2008. And then after that, he went to ECW. And that show went for two years, from 2008 through 2010. So, um, but like I said, man, um, you know, I mean, I think the title run was, was mildly short. You know, I think he should have... You know, I, I, I think at least the WWE should have pushed it more, you know, but it ended with Brock Lesnar, you know what I'm saying? Um, it only took three seconds to defeat him, you know, so, um, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, that's just my opinion. Now, maybe y'all might be a fan of Kofi. I'm not. I never was a fan of Kofi. Uh, great, a great athlete, though, but he... He just doesn't fit the mold, you know. He's more of a mid-card type of player, you know. He's more of the, he's he's mixed in with the, you know, WWE, not WWE, WWE tag team titles, IC titles, you know, United States champion. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm shocked they didn't push him to be ECW champion. Um, but you know that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, as for CM Punk, you know, the WWE did him dirty, you know, uh, you know, like he, like he's always asking the WWE, oh, where, oh, where is my ice cream bars? You know what I'm saying? Like they make freaking cocoa puffs and cereal bars and not cereal bars. They make cereal and pancakes, you know, like they literally, like if you buy their, if you buy the New Day pancakes, they literally, they literally have their logo, like, on the middle of the pancakes and stuff. And then, you know, they have their own cereal box, which CM Punk has been asking for his ice cream bars for, like, the past five to ten years now, you know? Um, you know, but, you know, it is what it is, you know? I, he said that it was just a little, you know, fire up, you know, catchy phrase to get the fans all fired up. You know, like he they wasn't like he said that he wasn't expecting them to literally go with the whole thing. Um but you know it is what it is. Um But you know, I mean I think you know Hey, at least they put him on the cover of of, of uh of wrestling, right? Like if you like if they don't put the candy bars and the ice cream bars on the logos of ice cream, is at least they put them on the actual video game. Unlike WWE, there is no WWE curse. You know, like you know how there's like the Madden curse and the NBA 2K curse. There's never been a WWE curse in WWE games. You know what I'm saying? Which is odd. 
But anyways, um, but yeah, man, um, it was just, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of people that the WWE can put their champion, their titles on, you know, but they chose, out of all the people that was there, they chose Kofi Kingston because he had the most potential. Now, like I said, he's been, you know, in a lower, he's been in a lower card before, you know, he's been, you know, tag team champions, multiple tag team champions, he's been IC champion, he's been United States champion, uh, he's feuded with Randy Orton, he's, I mean, he had some memorable moments at, at the Royal Rumble with his creativity, you know, like, I remember when he, when he, he got tossed over the apron and, you know, I think somebody pushed him into the barricade and he held on. He actually held on and, you know, he like he climbed himself, like he, he, he climbed himself on top of the barricade and then like he tippy toed, like he was on the edge of the barricade and then he jumped. Like he took like five steps back and then he ran and then he just jumped. And then there was another one where he was doing a two-hand stand, which I don't necessarily see how that was not out. His, like, his whole body was out, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the WWE, they're just going to throw it under the rug, this new damn rule that you must be thrown over the top rope. So if you go underneath the top rope, you're still technically in, which is stupid because back in the day, over the top rope, under the top rope, it doesn't matter. Elimination is elimination, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, he has some rememberable, you know, uh, Royal Rumble, you know, moments. Uh, and then, you know, he's had, you know, his 15 minutes of fame of WWE champion, which it didn't last too long, you know? Um, but let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you think CM Punk was right? Do you think, you know... Do you think Kofi Kingston's title reign was a fluke, was a joke? It all would, I mean, like I said, I don't know. But uh, tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll put the video in the description box down below. And comment if you knew. Subscribe if you knew. Share. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other.